K-E-I-A-N-S-T-E-E-L. And I'm Keith Adams, K-E-I-T-H-A-D-A-M-S. And to walk us through the decision to do a plea and... Well, this was excruciating because hopefully, in our collective opinion, Jeffrey would have been found not guilty of everything. So this is very painful. But that's another three months or so in custody. And he wants to go home to his family. And negotiations totally broke down with the district attorney's office. Horribly broke down. And at that point, we believe that justice would be found with the honorable court. And Jeffrey just wanted to go home. How agonizing it is to know that we've spent a year trying a case where the prosecutors have put on lies, knowing lies, hiding evidence, is insane in 2024 in the United States of America. And the only reason that this got revealed is because of you people. You people brought the truth to the community because nobody knows this. And this is not the only courtroom it's happening in. And I just want to thank all of you. I especially want to thank Jeffrey for letting me represent him. I think he's a wonderful person who does wonderful things and will continue to do things even greater. I cannot express to you how Shaquille Kokomo how Trisha Renard, how Haley, how my wife Colette, how Bram, how countless people, but especially Miss Courtney Edwards, has worked without sleep for three years representing Jeffrey and helping him. I will never be able to stand with anyone more ethical, honest, hardworking, insightful, intelligent, and kind than the honorable king.